Have you ever heard of an apostle of God? One of my daughters had told me about him, and she invited me to come see him. Once you heard him speak, what did you feel? Great joy, a great emotion to come near to God. To be more mature in my heart through God. Do you believe that he can be an apostle of God? It's clear, yes. Well, I lived a marvelous experience. I liked it a lot. It was very emotive, and it is something for us to believe. He transmitted to us a beautiful word that I got goosebumps from, and I liked it a lot. My expectation is that God is true, and He is faithful, and He is good, and we have to believe Him. And He is something like the wind. We feel Him, but we cannot see Him. We have to believe God. Well, I will tell Him that may God bless Him for His beautiful words. Today we lived a day of joy, of jubilation, another embrace, another hand extended to us through the message which was pronounced by the Apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, Nason Joaquin. I saw in his message, in his message of faith, the reality, the actual reality of what the Lord Jesus Christ wants in a, his people who believe that things are done within the parameters of what Jesus Christ wants and not what man wants. And yes, with a lot of desire to continue hearing the message, and I am, it's clear, I've been convinced that he is an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ and a servant of God through the message that he takes with him because he places God before anything else and then man. And whoever believes in God and is baptized, well, he will be saved. But whoever does not believe and is not baptized, well, there's nothing else left for him. And in that sense, I come near to the church as a visit, the message connected with me, with my family and my children, and this will continue to fill us with satisfaction to continue coming to the church for the honor and the glory of God and to the delight of each and every one of us. It was a beautiful presence. We felt the presence of God today. It was a beautiful service that uh, he did. I loved it. It was a beautiful presentation. The preaching was clear. Everything was perfect. I felt the presence of God. Everything was very beautiful. And for sure, yes, he's an apostle. May God bless him and continue to bless him always. And may he continue with the wisdom that God gave him and to pray for us. That is the only thing that we can say. And that may this repeat once again so that we can hear him once again. And uh, well, hopefully we find out where he's going to be next so that we can be there and hear him again. My name is Maribel de Los Angeles Torres. My son, my son, he invited me. Is this the first time you visit us? Yes. Well... It was so marvelous. It was so beautiful. I felt a great joy inside and also externally. And even more so I that I touched him. And I was right in front of him. And what can I say that it is a message that's something that the Lord sent so that he can give us those testimonies from God that are so beautiful. It was beautiful. It is so important. That is what I believe. He is an apostle of Jesus Christ, and even more than that, I felt filled with the Holy Spirit. That is the best thing that can ever happen to me. And what did you feel to see Him? I felt a joy. I felt a great peace. I felt uh, something very emotional, knowing that we are close to a man of God. And what would you say? that the presence of God was felt today? Yes, truly, greatly. The Spirit of God used me greatly. 
to see the presence of God so great in him. And what comes next for you after this? Well, after this, the eternal life. It was excellent. Excellent. Very, very beautiful. Can you tell me what you felt? Oh, I felt joy. I felt happiness. A lot of joy, a lot of happiness. Well, I felt uh, rejoiced. Rejoiced. Very satisfied. I felt very good. I felt the presence of God. Yes, I felt the presence of God. It was so beautiful. After hearing the word that was spoken today, what comes next for you? Well, from here on word, uh, trying to change my life, to lead a life, that is more more organized to lead a life that is more organized and I will try to fraternize with the brethren excuse me um, because I am crying because uh, I have great emotions glory be to Christ it is the presence of God can you tell me what you feel? <laughs> Glory be to Jesus Christ. <laughs> what did you feel when you saw the Apostle of God? <laughs> it was something beautiful. I felt good. Glory be to God.